Hi there and welcome to this Two Minute Tips video. Today we're going to be looking at tracking sensitivity. So welcome back to this video and as I said we're going to be looking at again a piece of movie or video functionality in these Z-series mirrorless cameras and this is what's called tracking sensitivity. In a previous video we looked at the AF speed functionality which is about how quickly the camera will focus from one subject to another. Tracking sensitivity is all about if, for example, the camera is videoing me, but then something comes in between the camera and myself, it's about how sensitive the camera is as, as to whether it focuses on that subject that has come between me and the camera. There may be some occasions where you want the camera to focus on the nearest subject to it rather than the furthest subject. But equally, there may be times when perhaps you want a, an out of focus subject to go between the camera and the main subject you're um, videoing. Perhaps it's something that moves across and then moves out of the frame um, and you want the camera to retain focus on the original subject. And this is the setting that can help you with that. So if you go into the custom settings menu and you go down to G which is movie settings and look at G5 which is tracking sensitivity, what you'll see is it offers you a scale of 1 to 7 with 1 being high and 7 being low. Now this is a bit of a bugbear for me and this is something Nikon can really work on is a little bit of thinking about the user um, because by having a scale of 1 to 7 where 1 is high and 7 is low it's kind of counterintuitive and when you read the manual it becomes slightly ambiguous about what they're talking about. Now what they could do is have 1 being low sensitivity and 7 being the high sensitivity so it would all align. But what this means as it's set up at the moment is one is high sensitivity i.e. if something comes between me and the camera now then it's very sensitive to that so it quickly changed focus to the subject that's closest to the camera. If however you've got it to seven low sensitivity it wouldn't immediately focus on that subject that has come between me and the camera, it would wait a bit and it would pause. And if that subject moved out of frame, it would have held, held the focus on me as the original subject. So if you want high sensitivity, you set it towards the low end of the numerical scale. And if you want low sensitivity, you set it towards the high end of the numerical scale. So as I said in the previous video, it'd be really interesting to hear if you're using some of the video capabilities of your Z-series mirrorless cameras. And in this case, how are you setting the tracking sensitivity? Are you starting to think about the shots you're trying to capture and adjusting some of the settings in camera to help you get those? Or are you just leaving it on the um, factory settings that the camera comes set with? Let me know in the comments below, it'd be great to hear. Hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, as always, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of future videos. And I look forward to seeing you, as always, in a future video.